Welcome, Eco Geeks, to the Toyota Day. Toyota did not disappoint at this year's auto show. I like to hold Toyota to a slightly higher standard than I hold other car companies because I think people expect them to be the green car company. And when I see them doing things that are not so green or not innovating as fast as I would like them to, then I like to sort of get them on that. But this year, I'm gonna let them slide. This is a good showing. The first thing I'd like to show you is the Lexus HS250H because apparently they can't just name cars when they're luxury cars, but this is the world's first luxury hybrid. Yet, I expect that it'll be in the 30 miles per gallon, which is very impressive for a Lexus, not so impressive for a Toyota. But in this segment, you might expect some things are more important than fuel economy, like raw beauty. It takes a little bit of the styling from the Prius, a lot of the same, more aerodynamic shape, but you can tell that they've made more compromises in terms of efficiency for styling. Moving out of the Lexus area and into the Toyota area, I can guarantee you something a little bit more a minimalist. And it doesn't get too much more minimal than this the Toyota FT EV, which is really and truly a teeny tiny car based on Toyota's IQ, which is a production car in Japan right now. Toyota has actually talked about bringing the IQ to America and selling it as a Scion, which would be a great green addition to Scion, in my opinion. The FT EV is Toyota's first foray into pure electric vehicles, and they're looking to have something, maybe this, maybe not this, on the road as a pure electric vehicle in 2012. But I know what you sick people really come here for. The 2010 all-new third-generation Toyota Prius. All-new, all-better, bigger, more fuel-efficient, faster. It's everything you ever wanted in a hybrid car. This 2010 Prius manages to be bigger and faster and more efficient. It gets 50 miles per gallon, which is like five miles per gallon better than the last Toyota Prius. A couple of options that you might be interested in. There's an optional solar-powered roof that will keep the car cool when it's parked on a sunny day. And that way the experience of driving is, of course, much nicer because you don't have to get into a 107 degree car. Additionally, because the air conditioning won't have to blast as hard, it takes strain off the battery. Yes, the 2010 Toyota Prius. I know you want one. To get any better than this, we're gonna have to make some huge shifts because this is about as efficient as a hybrid can get. 